Warriors United! Back with another episode of Wigger Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well on this Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. A uh, lot to be grateful for. I think certainly everything we talk about, the grace of God. Hope you guys are conquesting. Hope you guys are questing yourselves. Hope you guys are questing things around you, getting more self-control so you can have a better uh, purpose to God and trying to actually go ahead and become the best high-value male that you can become. And of course, we have females, so I don't want to kind of uh, say anything uh, against females. Females are wonderful. Most of our viewers are males, so I kind of address most of my comments to males. So, But females can also use human retention and can also do that. We've done shows before like this, and we'll probably do some more as, that, as well. All right, before we talk about time management, using time wisely with semen retention, let's go ahead and kind of give some shout outs here. Daniel Fredericks, two for you, my friend. Lightning the Dark, thank you, my friend, two for you. Uh, DJ3DD524, thank you. Uh, Ku uh, James Online, thank you. Geodude92. Geometria88388, thank you. TKO as well. John Jennings, thank you. Alvin, thank you. Remington um, Tulips, thank you, my friend. John the Dawn, looking slim, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm lost about 60 pounds now. I'm down to two, uh, 202. I was 262, my friend. So we've kind of uh, lost a lot of weight doing a lot of stuff that we're talking about. And uh, Fred Lamont, 9943. I will do some stuff on being married. There's a several that we have in there that we've done before, but I'll go back to it a little bit uh, since I've been married almost 30 years now. So, uh, and my Stycom uh, Moon, I think it's 4434. And ZS, uh, how, long, how old were you when you started? Um, so, when I started, I, I, I'd done off and on for many, many years, but really I started this last round that's gone almost 1,200 days or 1,150 days, something like this. Um, probably I would say 59 years old, right before the, the pandemic or right during the pandemic. I think it was a, a good at the beginning of it. I think it must have been 2020 or something like that, whenever we started, March of 2020. Um, so we basically at that point were able to say, okay, you know, I'm going to try something and I continue just taking the risk and it's kind of worked out great, uh, at this point. So, uh, but thank you for asking, um, uh, radio, radier, radier, uh, from Belgium. Thank you, my friend. If I, if I miss your name, I apologize. No offense. I'm trying to kind of read my poor writing here. John the Dawn and Conterna. Thank you. I know Conterna does not like my, uh, screaming. Uh, I do it for a reason. And, um, you know, I think you have to kind of look at everything as a battle here. There is a spiritual battle to things, and it's important to recognize that. So I'm going to be kicking and screaming the rest of my days to make sure we continue putting the word out about this battle. So, all right, three minutes and 30 second mark. We're going to talk about time management. Now, why do we talk about time management? Well, it's very important for us to use our time wisely, especially when we're working with senior retention. Now, why is that? Well, lots of, for all these years, I've been kind of going through things off and on, doing things left and right, doing things, achieving things. Uh, but time management is something that I was good at, at certain periods of my life, other times not so good. And the one thing that I recognize is the fact that you, if you have goals, all your time should be focusing on those goals. Use your time wisely to achieve those goals. Now, you know those goals are gonna include spiritual, physical, uh, intellectual, and, and you're gonna have those three major areas. Now, they could include things like dieting, achieving physical goals with weightlifting, achieving financial goals, all these things should be goals you should have. And we've talked about goals before. So worries you should have short-term goals, you should have long-term goals, and you should put in those behaviors along with the goals and the skill of them you need to achieve those goals as you go through. So then you know exactly what you need to do to go ahead and kind of accomplish the goals. Now, 
what this does is it puts you in a different mind frame. Your mind frame is not chasing women around. Your mind frame is not sitting there and looking at pictures and getting, you know, losing your energy for no reason except just to lose your energy and the short thrill you get from doing that. Everything is on a purpose. And I think those are the people who became high level males, successful males, value males, because they tend to have goals. They repeat the same behaviors. They become habit forming. And so they form habits that are successful. They use their time wisely. Now, there's no reason why you can't go and, you know, once in a half have a beer with someone or have fun with your family, like at Thanksgiving, things like that. But we're talking about a mental state in which you're using your time in a constructive way. So I give you my schedule. Basically, I get up at five o'clock every morning. Now, part of that is because I have a dog that I have to walk before I go to work. And so I tend to walk that dog. And so I get a bunch of steps in that way. Uh, then I go and take a cold shower. And so 5.30, whatever it's quarter to six, I start getting ready and I do my exercises, and my whether it's my resistance training or my just the uh, Keller Fountain, Fountain of Youth stuff, which I've been doing since 1998. And uh, I've, I've done a bunch of videos on that and that's highly effective uh, things for me to not only get stretching out, but also kind of getting those chakras moving that we talk about all the time. And so then I get ready and then I have my work day. Now my work day, I try to find times for the right types of food when I have breaks. And I also then go ahead and, and exercise and walk around, do steps and do those things. So I get the cardio in and I'm able to lose, have the calories. And so I'm watching my calories on my Fitbit all day long. And so what I try to do then is kind of achieve those goals. So I have certain goals that I put together with dieting and certain goals when it comes to calories. And then of course, financial goals and trying to get physical goals as well. So I'm still looking for those six pack of abs. I'm getting closer, I'm still not there, but I'm down to, I've lost 60 pounds. And so it's getting closer. And obviously the only way I'm gonna see those abs is drop another, I'm trying to get to 190, 185. And at 62 years old, that is usually the, at my, 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 um, my my height which is about five eleven and a half something like that almost six feet and that's a probably a good reasonable weight uh, i was extremely overweight for all those years and obviously part of that was the fact that i was releasing energy and that created more of a problem as well and i didn't have that level of self-control that i should have and so i've learned that over the years and and this has been a step-by-step -step process it starts with retention it starts with your ability to say no to something like that, which is very powerful. If you can do that, then you can kind of use your time wisely and use that self-control now to say, how can I now reach out and do other things? So for instance, if you get excited about someone, you see someone or you see a picture, find some time in your mind to say, okay, I'm gonna do something constructive from this. I'm gonna go work out, I'm gonna go take a walk. I'll take the dog for a walk if you have one, or go for a walk yourself. Even on cold days like this, you can still do that. Read a book, do something, find some activity that keeps you busy and achieving a goal. So as time goes on, all your activities will be put into motion, using your time, managing your time in the focus of achieving goals. And so what I would highly recommend warriors that you do is you sit down with a piece of paper one day. And if you haven't done this, if you've done it, great. If you haven't done this, then write a piece of paper and write down your uh, goals, immediate goals. I would say, you know, one month goals. Then you got six week goals, a year goals. You can have several goals as you go along. What are things you wanna achieve? Picture yourself achieving those goals. Then what you can do is go back and say, okay, these are what I wanna do. What types of behaviors or skills do I need to do to go along with that? And then you can kind of list down those underneath each one. And now you can go look and say, okay, this is the date. Now, I would also put a date in your mind. 
Like I want to get a uh, hundred thousand dollars in my bank account by January 1st, 2024. That's specific enough so your mind reads that and is able to focus on that. You won't believe the difference your mind makes once you're focusing on the goals. See, all this time, we are, we are not focusing on anything. Most people don't have goals, warriors. Most people don't have a purpose. This is why you have to listen to God first, your creator, and then you have to go and say, okay, what is the purpose I'm trying to achieve? And once you have that purpose, now you can kind of set your path and you're looking for achievement. Now, will things change? Of course they'll change. But instead of focusing on things around you and women distracting you or women coming up to you and all those things, you are strong enough to say, okay, this does not fit into my goals. Now, of course, if you're looking for companionship and one of your goals is to find a, a companion, that's great. But that's a different goal and that's gonna focus on those, those people. But don't allow the distraction of all that to interfere with your other goals. Your other goals are just as important. And this is a key. Obviously it's important to find the right kind of companion that's gonna kind of make or break you in many cases. But you also wanna be able to have enough ability to not get distracted from that and allow it to get distracted from the other goals you have. Because obviously uh, your companion, the female in this case, will want to have somebody who's a high value male and they will be more attracted to a person who has their stuff together. They know their financial stuff. They know how to achieve, protect, provide, be, you know, have a strong athletic body. They have those things intellectually, spiritually strong with their, their creator. That woman knows that and respects that. That's the respect they have. You're not just chasing skirts around, chasing them around and becoming desperate. You have your own life and whether they want to be part of that or not is a decision they have to make, but you're still going to move on regardless. That goes back to the old stoic ability to do the things you need to do to achieve your goals and not and be detached from other things around you. Women will be attracted to you. They will not be able to resist you because of your retention, because of your ability to act as an independent person, not needing them. And of course, they want your attention. They want to be part of your life because of that. So I wouldn't worry about that part. But what you got to do is focus on the goals and achieving things you want to achieve. So the key to a lot of the time management in your life is getting control of these things that are distracting you. You could have addictions to gambling. You could have addictions to um, you know, images. You could have addictions to drugs. These things can be handled one at a time in my opinion, by learning self-control. And the first thing you gotta do is learn how to control your energy. Once your energy is controlled, now you can try to use other types of things to start controlling. Getting, in, getting into that shower when it's cold, going ahead and looking at your diet, trying to make sure that you have the right types of uh, foods in your system, trying to make sure you exercise on a continual basis, build a habit to that. All those things are important. Praying to God, meditating on a daily basis, looking at the, the, your religious text, in my case, the Bible with the uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure you focus on those things so you kind of know where you're heading. Always remember where you're heading. Don't let the distractions of the addictions catch you behind and put you behind the eight ball so now you're making decisions you don't want to make. So anyway, my friends, enough of that. But I wanted to kind of focus on time management. A few people have asked about that. And I want to kind of approach the issue to see just kind of what the connection is between managing your time, organizing yourself, and self-control. A huge connection that we have to think about. And use it to your advantage. Always, everything you do should be focusing on, in my opinion, an investment or it depreciates. You want the investments. You want to invest, whether it's your kids you're investing money into, whether it's your hobbies you're investing into, your relationships, everything has to be a positive. There's a reason why you're doing it. If you do it that way, then you won't have time to release or any of the other stuff and become weaker. You'll become stronger as time goes on. All right, my friends, great to, great to talk with you guys again. We'll talk again really soon. Always remember two things. One, every day, 
is a new day to a great warrior. And we have to continue always, and you guys know I'm going to come with a scream, we always have to continue to, to continue to fight on and fight on because this is a battle. And we've got to continue to battle!